In the distant reaches of our solar system lies Saturn, a planet so majestic, it has captivated astronomers and dreamers for centuries. From its shimmering rings to its otherworldly moons, Saturn has long been a symbol of celestial wonder. But what if we told you that everything we thought we knew about this gas giant might be wrong, or worse, deliberately hidden? Recent revelations from the now silent Cassini spacecraft have ignited a firestorm among astronomers and researchers. Before its dramatic dive into Saturn's atmosphere in 2017, Cassini captured one final image, an image that NASA didn't rush to release. Hidden in archives, filtered through data pipelines, and analyzed behind closed doors, this photograph has surfaced, and what it reveals is shaking the very foundations of planetary science. At first glance, the image appears to show the familiar bands and rings of Saturn. But upon deeper analysis, scientists noticed anomalies that defy explanation. Patterns, not of natural origin, seem etched into the clouds. Structures too symmetrical, too precise, too engineered. Some researchers whisper that these formations resemble artificial geometry, the kind one would expect from a civilization far more advanced than our own. Is it simply an atmospheric illusion? Or evidence of something else? Let's rewind a little. Cassini was one of the most ambitious missions ever undertaken. Launched in 1997, it spent two decades in space, arriving at Saturn in 2004. Over the next 13 years, it orbited the planet, diving between rings, observing its moons, and transmitting petabytes of data back to Earth. The mission officially ended in 2017 when NASA intentionally plunged Cassini into Saturn's atmosphere to avoid contaminating any of its potentially life-supporting moons like Enceladus or Titan. But before its final descent, the probe took a series of images during a maneuver known as the Grand Finale. One of these images was unlike anything Cassini had ever captured. Buried deep in the mission's data logs, this image was flagged by a machine learning algorithm during a routine scan in 2024. When it was finally reviewed by human scientists, it sparked an immediate and intense debate. Why? Because the image seemed to depict something that should not be there, a vast hexagonal vortex at Saturn's North Pole, glowing in ways never before seen. Now, to be clear, Saturn's hexagon is not a new discovery. It was first observed by the Voyager missions in the 1980s and later confirmed by Cassini. This massive six-sided jet stream is nearly 30,000 kilometers wide, large enough to fit four Earths across. Scientists have long struggled to explain how such a stable and geometrically perfect shape could exist in the atmosphere of a planet with no solid surface. But the final image revealed something new. The hexagon wasn't just a cloud formation. It appeared to be pulsating with synchronized bursts of energy, like a signal. And this is where things get truly bizarre. Using enhanced spectral imaging, researchers discovered rhythmic fluctuations in infrared emissions from within the vortex, intervals so precise, they resembled a mathematical pattern. Some have even compared the timing to binary code. Was this merely a natural phenomenon, or could it be a transmission? Dr. Elena Ruiz, a planetary physicist at the European Space Agency, called the discovery deeply unsettling. In an interview, she stated, either we are witnessing an atmospheric process far beyond our understanding, or we're looking at something artificially generated. There's no middle ground. This has led to rampant speculation across the scientific and fringe communities. Some believe Saturn's hexagon may be an energy portal, a gateway of sorts, perhaps even a stargate. Others claim it's evidence of a colossal machine hidden beneath Saturn's clouds. A megastructure possibly responsible for shaping the planet's rings or manipulating its weather systems. There's historical context, too. Ancient civilizations such as the Babylonians and the Greeks considered Saturn a deity, a god of time, harvest, and death. Some conspiracy theorists argue that these mythologies weren't just stories but encoded memories of ancient encounters with something far more advanced. They point to eerie similarities between Saturn's hexagon and symbols found in Mesopotamian tablets, Hindu mandalas, and even Norse runes. Further adding to the mystery are Saturn's moons, particularly Enceladus and Titan. Enceladus, a small icy world, is known for shooting plumes of water vapor from its south pole. 
These geysers contain organic molecules, and beneath the icy crust, scientists believe there's a vast subsurface ocean, a perfect environment for life. Titan, on the other hand, is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. It has lakes of methane and ethane, and its surface chemistry mimics early Earth. Could these moons be more than just natural satellites? Could they be sentinels? Outposts? Parts of a larger system? A controversial theory gaining traction suggests that Saturn might be a hub, not just a planet but a colossal energy node within our solar system. Some researchers speculate that the planet's rings function as antennae, transmitting or receiving signals across space. Indeed, when Cassini passed through the ring gaps during its final orbits, it detected bizarre radio emissions, chirps, whistles, and rhythmic pulses that defied all known sources. NASA dismissed these as plasma wave interactions. But critics argue that this explanation doesn't account for the structure or frequency of the sounds. Dr. Jason Hill, an independent astrophysicist, said, What we heard from Saturn wasn't noise. It was patterned, layered, intelligent. It doesn't end there. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from Cassini's magnetometer data. During its close passes, the spacecraft recorded anomalies in Saturn's magnetic field. Fluctuations that appeared in regular intervals, almost like a heartbeat. Saturn's magnetic field is already unusual. It aligns almost perfectly with its rotational axis, a fact that puzzles physicists since magnetic fields are usually tilted. The regular pulsations suggest an internal source of energy that isn't purely natural. Could something be inside Saturn, not just clouds and gas, but an artificial core or reactor? In 2016, Cassini also sent back images of an odd shadow on the B-ring. It was elongated, seemingly three-dimensional, and remained in position over several orbits. Initially thought to be a glitch, further analysis showed that it had mass, it was blocking light. NASA later removed the images from its public archive, citing processing errors, but not before a few whistleblowers leaked the original files. What the shadow resembled, and this is speculative, was a structure. Long, cylindrical, like a ship. A massive object potentially hundreds of kilometers in length. Could it be that something is orbiting Saturn in stealth? Or even hiding within its rings? These theories might sound like science fiction, but they're increasingly difficult to ignore. Especially when multiple pieces of data, visual, magnetic, spectral, all point to the same conclusion. Something about Saturn doesn't add up. Of course, the mainstream scientific community urges caution. There are natural explanations for many of these observations, they argue. Complex weather systems, fluid dynamics, and magnetic interactions can produce seemingly anomalous results. But even they admit that Saturn is the most mysterious of all the gas giants. Jupiter, despite its storms and mass, is relatively predictable. Saturn, however, defies our models. Its atmosphere, its rings, its moons all behave in ways we don't fully understand. And then there's the question of why NASA chose to end Cassini the way it did. Destroying the probe by plunging it into Saturn's atmosphere was said to be a planetary protection measure to avoid contaminating moons like Enceladus or Titan. But some critics argue that it was to prevent Cassini from revealing more. With all its instruments functional, why not send it to Titan's surface? Or attempt a flyby of another moon? Why destroy the most successful probe in history? According to leaked mission transcripts, there was concern about unexpected electromagnetic feedback from Cassini's final dive, suggesting it encountered something strong enough to interfere with its systems. Could it be that Saturn's atmosphere isn't just storms and hydrogen, but something more? A living system? A shield? A concealment layer? There's precedent for this kind of mystery. In 2004, just before Cassini's arrival, a massive storm was observed on Saturn, a storm that formed and dissipated in record time. Inside that storm, lightning rates were off the charts. Some researchers suggested that it was a discharge, not from natural buildup, but from an artificial cause. In 2013, amateur astronomers noticed odd flashes on Saturn's rings, visible even through Earth-based telescopes. NASA never commented. 
and in 2020, a mysterious radio burst from the direction of Saturn was detected by the LOFAR telescope array in Europe. It lasted for just a few seconds, but its frequency pattern was unlike any natural source. Again, NASA declined to investigate further. All of this points to one unsettling possibility. Saturn is not just a planet. It might be a beacon. A machine. A construct. Or a veil hiding something ancient and powerful. So where does this leave us? We stand on the edge of understanding, staring into the void, asking the same question we've asked for millennia. What is out there? And is it watching us? With Cassini gone, we may never get another look for decades. But its final gift, that strange, haunting image, remains. It challenges us to think bigger, to question official narratives, and to keep looking deeper. Because in the shadows of Saturn, something waits. Something vast. Something intelligent. And perhaps, something ancient.